gotta hand it to him. Pan is fast. I'd like Senator Pan to sit down with me at any time on television and talk about why when he knew we had a whistleblower at the CDC saying that this vaccine was destroying children's lives, why would he pass a law making us have to use that defective vaccine? All right, I'm in front of the Capitol here in Sacramento. So hopefully I get to see you, uh, Senator Pan. That's what I'm looking forward to. We went to Senator Richard Pan's office, and while we're standing in there, the secretary said, let me see if he's here, and we're looking in the no, back room, and I watched him cross in. It's like, no, he's no, here. No, so basically, let me go. we were told Pan was not available, and then we saw him. Ducked run. out of his office he door. He ran like this. <laughs> and ran out the office and, then he and down went the hallway. And down the back door and scooted down the road. It was, um, so we get in there, and the secretary is pretending, you know, she could, the minute we handed her the back thing, she was, okay, just wait a minute. And she turned her back, and she was door shut in talking about the fact that backs were in there. And it was like a cartoon sketch. He was literally creeping <laughs> like that through his office. And these two amazing girls. You can see him through the doorway, like just go across it. What's he doing? It was weird. It was like. <laughs> like Pink Panther. It was like Pink Panther. I was like, are you well? I'm sorry. Del chased after him, so we're going to go and find Del. Anyway, so he then had a secret door in his office. Which we did not know. No, but luckily one of these brilliant mummies said to him, oh, he's done because they've been doing it. He's getting away, he's running out the He'll back door. He'll be running down the corridor, so we, Del was out there like a, a shot. shot out. I started running down the hall. There he was. And I was thinking, I mean, honestly, you're thinking of politician. So they're they're going to try and fast walk their way out. And when I came out the door, this guy was at a, man was at a dead run. Oh, I'm I mean, a dead run, like, through the door. I'm shouting, just saying, I just want to talk to you for a second. Through the door. Now, I'm figuring that's a staircase. So how fast can you go through the staircase? I mean, this guy did two flights of stairs. I mean, I got to hand it to him. Pan is fast. Yeah. I mean, I opened up the door, and I, I mean, I couldn't tell had he gone upstairs, downstairs. I'm looking downstairs. I run down, blast through the door, and then you just see him getting down the hall. I'm trying to catch up with him. And then he goes into a restricted area, so Del can't keep Yeah, all of a sudden we were. But the, so, and we're going to go back to what happened after that. But the interesting thing is, the next guy we went to see, another person in our favor, takes us straight down to the floor. And there's, there's, there's the bodyguard bounces down there, because that's the bit where Pan vanishes. Yeah, we, yeah. So they're all like standing there to make sure that we don't go into anywhere where Pan is. I mean, he's, he's, I don't, I personally, Polly told me, I don't think he's very well, because, you know, as a politician, a senator, to run, if, if what you're saying is so true, stand, let's, let's have a civil conversation. I mean, I went back into Pan's office while Del, Del and Andy were on the chase. I don't think Andy made, I don't know what happened to Andy. I don't know what Andy is, but I just said to his secretary, the most unbelievable display of cowardice. I don't think he's very well, actually. I don't think he's very well. So I went back into Pan's office and I said to him, this is not sanity. This is not the right actions for a man. We've come here to discuss how we can help Senator Pan put to right what, you know, he's clearly making mistakes. He's putting out these great statements about how Andy's a liar and our film's a big lie and it's all about Andy Wakefield. Let's have a civil adult conversation. I mean, think about it. I, I can't imagine living a life where you have to run and hide from people. I imagine the rest of the day, you know, inside the Capitol, he was in corners saying, are they out there? Are they out there in the halls? I mean, can you imagine living like that? I've never done or said anything in my life that I wouldn't stand my ground and, and, and be able to have a debate about it. You know, if Pan really believes in this, why can't he stand and talk to me about it? I, I mean, to actually run down hallways, and he run ran. downstairs, what is Senator Pan afraid of? He ran, like, you know when you're a kid and you ring someone's doorbell and run? Yeah, you it was, think it's, it's hilarious. It doorbell dish. He ran that fast. Yeah. Because you never want that neighbor to catch yeah. you ringing your doorbell. Yeah. It was, it was like that. Yeah, I wish you'd have been around when I was a kid and we were like snowballing cars right. in Colorado. <laughs> But, I mean, he's Senator Pan. I mean, what are you doing running? So, um, we will be back to see Pan. I, my recommendation to parents in Sacramento is to keep popping in to visit him. And, and he, apparently, this is not the first time he's done this. So, let's just Pan ran twice. And rest <laughs> assured, next time I have a, a, an opportunity to have an interview with Pan, I will wear my running shoes. Pan, we're going to run side by side on this, buddy. 
And I'm gonna, he's gonna be on this great guy, paleo. I'm in good no, shape. You're in good shape, but paleo, trust me, will just make you just that little bit quicker. Because right. pan is this thin, and that makes you fast. And you're not fat, but we need to get you fit. Okay, well, I'd still like my bread, though. No. <laughs> And Andy, some of them want to bring him in. Andy's been, I think he's, he's exhausted. <laughs> We've exhausted him, but um, no, it was really good and it was really worth it. Apparently it's trending, Panda. I think it should. I mean, is this where our tax dollars are going into Pan's fitness regime so we can run from his constituents? It's I don't a know. shocking state of affairs. <laughs> but anyway, um, onwards and upwards.